go up and see what he's cooking. So we're adding our uh, all our tomatoes, the bronze fennel, the tarragon, a touch of sherry vinegar, and some salt into there. And the only thing we're going to add now is just some uh, mineral water. We're going to blend, but we don't want to blend it too much because yeah. otherwise we'll get it. We'll just make a root, super cloudy liquid. Yeah. And Sliding then we're going to add the nitrogen to it, yep. which will then instantly freeze it, which will make all the sediment hold tight together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it through a coffee filter. We're going to yeah. hang that coffee filter inside the egg. So as it melts, it drips through clear and it also smokes at the same time. Wow. You ready? Yeah, of course. Oh. That was magic. Oh, it's cold. Wow. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can hear, it's slowly getting thicker and thicker yes. as we freeze it. So we're essentially making like a tomato granita. Yep. <laughs> so it's starting to go slushy now. <laughs> See it's starting to free, oh, thicken wow. up now. So what's... It's starting to thicken. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's sounding good. Right. It does sound better, doesn't it? It sounds sweeter. You can definitely drive the Thermomix with your ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what that means, <laughs> don't you? Sound? Yeah. Uh, no, that's ready. Right. She's ready. That high pitched noise was the engine was spinning, which means the blade's just going. Yeah. Obviously, this is all frozen hard here. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Don't tell your Thermomix rep that you're um, using a metal spoon in there, Andy. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. That's amazing. So that's just going to melt. So that, oh. that will gently melt and drip into there and clarify as it does it, but also smoke at the same time. Yeah. As we're starting to clarify and smoke at the same time. So what's going to come out there? It's a very... We'll, have a, we'll have a clear tomato consomme, smoked tomato consomme. Right. So what, what's on the plate, Andy? Okay, so we've got um, cured kingfish, finger lime, chive, and then it's wrapped in a um, buffalo mozzarella milk skin. Ah. Oh. And then we're going to put some raw beans that are grown in the garden over there. Yeah. We picked just earlier on. We're oh, wow. We're going to put raw beans on there. <laughs> and then we've made a nasturtium powder using all, tons of all the nasturtium leaves. You've noticed there's quite a lot yeah, of them Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we dry them up and then blend it up and gives a nice pepperiness to the, Amazing. To the dish. Um, and then finish with, uh, we've also got some society garlic that grows over there. Just, oh yeah. Which is a, sort of a, a, a lighter, more delicate kind of garlic flavour that we'll add to the dish. The well. purple flower? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You take uh, buffalo mozzarella balls, uh, use um, UHT milk in the Thermomix, yeah. take it up to 80 degrees, add a touch of salt and pepper, a uh, touch of lemon juice, and then we add uh, agar, so it activates 80 degrees. Leave it to cool down for uh, about a minute and a half. Just as it starts to drop in temperature, we take uh, take out the, the bowl from Thermix and pour it into a tray, and then just gently got to let it fall down so it creates a really beautiful oh, thin skin. Amazing. Because it sets so quickly, using the egg as soon as the temperature drops, you've got to be very, right. very quick. So it's like a mozzarella jelly of that course. you can slice. Sort exactly. Of. Okay. It becomes really pliable. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You use the right amount and you get the right fix and the thickness. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tomato consomme first. 
wow. There's a little hint of smoke, and it's just pure tomato. It's very, very pristine, clear, and super tasty, actually. A little bit of acid, it's delicious. And then these little cannelloni with the mozzarella skin, the kingfish inside, and just... Mm. Delicate and sweet. It's just a beautiful dish.